you guys, I'm gonna show how I braid my hair and then we'll show how to braid the horse's hair. And this is how to French braid. Um, and I actually, if you ask me, I wouldn't be able to tell you, I'm just gonna do it, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little piece here, a little piece here. And then I'm gonna take another little piece, say from here, good boy. And now we've got three pieces. Of course, when I'm doing that, oh, I'm very good at it. Okay, so once you have your three pieces, oh my god, in the wind, good. Then you kind of keep going with other pieces. I wanted to show them how to keep going with other pieces. Huh, no. Yeah, 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 you should be Some of them probably know better than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's the worst part, especially in the wind. Just like a little bass nest. So much easier when there's no wind. Wait, ho, 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 ho. a brush and you can braid it like that. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Let's go a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And then you're done. You just kind of braid it on down, braid it on down. Boring. So boring. Okay. So, you guys, so let's do it with the horse, okay? We're going to do French braid with the horse. But the horse isn't so thrilled about it, so we'll see how it goes. But the same kind of principle applies. You want to grab your first two pieces from the top and then your third piece from the other side, and then you start braiding it in. got our two pieces. You guys see that? Let's wait. Good. We got two pieces, one from each side. And then we're going to get the third piece. So now we've got three pieces. We're going to go one, two. You good boy. So now we've got, they're very thin, but what we're going to do is we're going to make them thicker by taking more from each side and then each time you bring it in you just bring more from the side good boy can you tell your horse how good he is <laughs> wait uh, uh, wait because <laughs> it's hard that's why we actually have a halter on him today because otherwise he might decide to leave <laughs> so you just want those three pieces uh, uh, please don't pull there's a good boy Thank you. No, no, no. So then what you do is eventually you get your three strands and that's, you know, you just, it's like a normal braid then. Um, so I don't know what you guys think. You know, if, if one is kind of thin, like this one's kind of thin, kind of messed it up, then just bring in some from, lift your head, good boy. Then just bring in some from the other side. So, yeah. And the horses get used to it after a while. They're like, oh, okay. She's just playing with my hair. So then what you can do 
is braid it down and uh, uh, wait, he's a good boy. And then we get our little hair tie. This is a human hair tie. You should, you guys should get a horse hair tie. But then what you can do is you can bring it up. Like say you were going to a show, you would bring it up. Just wait, oh, hold on. We're just gonna have him wait for just one second. All of a sudden, every fly in the world bothers him. And then, so then what you can do is you can more or less hook it up if you want to. And that's what you might do for like a horse show. It's super cute. Or you could just leave it down. Just wait, you're a good boy. You're so patient. I always tell them how patient they are and give them a nice scratch. Um, so what do you guys think about French braiding your horse's forelock? You can also do it to the tail if your horse's tail is long enough. So, or you can just tie it off and just have it be kind of cute. Um, just remember though, the mane and the forelock, that helps protect the horse from um, flies. So we don't, I don't usually like to leave them braided, but I wanted to show you what. And if you want, you can even, they can even double as a, as a unicorn. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what you think. Just click like if you like it. If you like Tino's unicorn uh, look. <laughs>